Assalamu alaikum musib assalamu alaikum yibe kosadimo welcome guys welcome again to another class i still haven't uploaded you know the two videos so i will upload them all together okay okay guys welcome again to kuri dong ejang kuri dong hisitong kawon dot dong aw misal mini on Kalakawa don't want it. I greet everybody wherever you might be watching this video from. Okay, guys, and I and, and I hope that you guys are safe. I mean, regarding this coronavirus and all these things. Okay, let's go to text number two. Okay, let's go to te text number two. Okay, so let's go to text two. We go straight into uh, let's study text two. Okay, text two. It's uh, like a tale, you know. Finafa Jayed. The advantages of being owned. So this is a talon of a fable, often involving animals, and often concluding with a moral. There's a moral to all those stories. Usually at the end, we stay to kids usually, or at night when like we, after dinner, people will sit, you know, around like uh, you know, uh, uh, the fire or you know, you know, and usually they, we will tell this to the kids, and sometimes it will be some scary tali, talon for the singular, and tali for the plural. So the kids like will learn to behave better, you know. And usually you go to at night, you're scared, super scared, and sometimes you have even, you even have nightmares. But it's so uh, some powerful tali. So that's what's called a talon, talon. Okay. So today's tali is the called the advantages of being owned, being of a jayad. And here the author said, one wonders if the full being ability told these stories, they mature to live their spirits. Maybe this is just, you know, for them not to revolt, so that they tell them that there are actually advantages of being owned. Yeah, it, that might be true. That might be true. But jayade can also mean, that not necessarily mean slavery. It can also mean just because when I say Baba and Kobaba and Jimmy, it's my dad who owns me. It's not necessarily like owning me like I'm his uh, slave, but I am uh, accountable to him and I, I am under his authority. I'm under his authority and I'm under his authority. I can't do anything in life if I don't, or I cannot take some important decisions, or I cannot, I cannot when he tells me something to do, Unless it's something criminal, something against the law, I must do it. So I'm actually under his uh, authority. Okay? I'm under his like privilege, authority, or whatever you might call it. So that's also called Jegol. Jegol, una tu machugoyagal. Jegol, it can mean also to be under the authority of someone, and you know, like, you know, you have somebody, you know, who tells you things to do. So that's also called Jegol. So here that the, there are advantages of being owned as compared to like being completely free where you are not accountable to anyone, you know, you know, you can do whatever you want, nobody to tell you, you know, sleep at this time, don't sleep at this time when you are a child, like you can play at the PlayStation whenever you want and so on. That can also be dead. Okay? Fina for dead. Okay? So but this also can be true. This also can be true because the 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 full bay and all all the other ethnic groups in Africa, not only the full bay, there was this the machube. They were machube in the in the past. They, they, this is not something specific to the full bay only. There were so machube, okay, in the in the past. And and actually, the slavery is something that all people in history, throughout history, have experienced with. In, there is no, whether you uh, Europeans, black people, everybody have uh, experiences. If the Romans, in the Roman Empire, the Romans, the Greeks, you know, they, was, they had some slaves and so on. It's not something, you know. But also the slavery was not big scale slavery, like what black people have suffered for 400 years. That was big scale slavery, you know, taking huge amount of people for a long, long period of time. Okay, this wasn't the case. It was like one guy who had a few machube, but not like uh, you know a whole. You know, it was. Uh, but it's something. It's something very sad and pitiful that you know 
slavery and much of it and, and so on. This is something very sad and very pitiful and something that that is absolutely uh, sad and that, you know, but, you know, some people have done this through the name of religion and so on, but, you know, religion has nothing to do with that really. But, you know, let's go straight to our, our stuff and, um, yeah. Uh, but, again, this might be true. This might be also not necessarily, as I said, jaded, that not necessarily mean slavery. Okay? Okay. Kosari enagge yedunir no fi jede e angal jede kohundum ure. Kohundum no sabudum. Kosari arno tawi kange sana Ka, uh, ko, uh, sorry, ko wunno sabudu, ko sari arno tawi kange sana do, kange sana do hudo, huda, what? Ko wunno sabudu, ko sari arno tawi kange sana do, hudo, huda. Ah, okay. No, oh, he did not write it properly. That's why I, I couldn't read it properly. Kowun no sabudu, kosari arno tawi kange sana don hudo, duda, duda. Kadi ha ko konge adana no ko lani. Okay, so here it should be that of you. Okay, it's duda and one a duda. Uda means it's not enough. It's not a lot. It's not a lot. Uda. Opposite of Udugal. Not Udi. Not Udi. It's a lot. Uda. It's not a lot. Not Udi. It's a lot. Uda. It's not a lot. Okay? So, it should be double U here. Okay? Sari jalinge inni ene engea kohondum bonnuda na gengeng inni mi bonna haifus ko jeido lang unsani mido Kisan sari inni, mingo imi jayaka, koka fala mi yaru dewo ya raidu. Koko fala mi wadu dewo wadaidu. Naggengen haidi hore, inni. Enfoti goy, kono juni yahudu. Minnong, mido siki, sita jede edi angal jede. Kono afamu ya yi untuma. Wuni seda tu, jon naggengen ari, portinge. Ngeyari ka sari yaru no tong. Lati ngeyahi seda tu, ngetawi sari no wali ka lady no fito. Kisang na genge inni. E kuri jang. Sari wuli inni ko goto felimu. Tawi kuri bui na ati e maere. Gote ka bao, gote ka koingal bao wal. Gote ka bao, gote ka koingal bao wal. Na genge inni. Si ila jeno, kote susa tano mafendude. Kote susa tano mafendude. Mwono nagenge ngeyni no wude du, nge banti gide. Nge haini fali do finka hari no ara. Nge fami kisang, ko onfendi sari. Nge seiti ni bui, nge tawi alako nge wawi. Nge artu yi kiki de, tawi nge beidi famu gol nafajeye de. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is a sad story. All right. Okay, so let's translate it. Okay, so, and then we make a separate video for the grammar. So we go through the vocabulary here. Okay. Kosari enage donito. It is uh, the rabbit and the cow that were arguing with each other. Yet donito means to argue with each other. What they were arguing about? Fi jede angal jede kohonumuri. To be owned or not to be owned, what is best, what is better? What is better between those two? Kohonno sabudung, the reason for that, kosari arno tawi kange sana dung hudot uda kadi ha ko konge adanano kon lanni. Why is that? Why were they arguing? It's because one day, the rabbit came uh, and found that where the cow was tied, was tied, was tied, there was not enough of, you know, that, that, you know, is like, well, what, what they eat, the, 
Oh, it's cool. What they eat? Uh, well, you know, what the cows eat, the greens, the, the what they eat. Okay, the, you know, what the, the, the food was not enough. It was not a lot. Kabi, hako kungi adalano kolani and the hako, hako, what? The leaves that they brought for, 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 for the cow, it was finished. So the, the rabbit found the cow, it was tired with not enough food. And the, the leaves also was finished. Sari yelling it. And then Sari sta uh, started laughing at the cow. Here, Sari yelling nge here, it refers to the cow. We nge, it's something, and we will see it. You, for example, Sari is the pronoun for the cow. The pronoun for human is what? Mo. Amadu jalimo. For example, Kosafi Kosafi yata e Amadu wono ye donerte. Amadu jalimo. It's Safia and Amadu that was who were arguing, and then Amadu laughed at her. So here the pronoun mo it refers to human. Whenever you hear mo. It's not a cow or whatever. Even if you want it there, in the beginning of the conversation, you hear more, it means a human. Him or her. But nge, whenever you hear nge, it's for a cow. Okay? Uh, whenever you hear kung, it's either for a small child or a small beast. Okay? Kung. So you will see, the, 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 we already saw many of those, and you understand, those of you who have been following this channel for a long time, right? Sari Jalinge. Sari laughed at her, the cow. Inni Eni said, Ede Ngeya. Ngeya also, how do I, it's the same. Oh, you, Ngeya. Ene Ngeya. Kuhundu Bonuda, what did you do wrong? What did you do wrong to deserve like this punishment? Because the rabbit was like, this is a punishment. You are tired over here, you know, you don't have enough food. This is a punishment. Naggengeng inni, and then the cow said, Naggengeng, nagge cow, naggengeng the cow. Naggengeng inni, mi bonna haifus. I did not do anything wrong. Bonnugal means to do something wrong. It literally means bonnugal. To destroy something, okay? To mess up something, but to or to do something wrong, to do wrong, okay? I didn't do anything wrong. It's my owner who tied me up here. Kisan sari inni. Immediately, kisan immediately. Kisan means immediately. Sari inni. The rabbit said, "Mingo imijayako." Oh, uh, as for me, I'm an old. Kukafala mi yaru de wo yarem. I go wherever I please. Kukafala mi wadu de wo yarem. I do whatever I please. And you see, oh, coming back to the definition I uh, gave about jayed, it doesn't necessarily mean slavery. It can mean also like like being uh, under the authority and uh, you know of someone. Okay, and this can refer to children. So this can, because uh, we said also that talon is usually said to children so that they behave better. Okay, so that they behave, right? So, and we can see it here. And the cow, like, uh, moved his head. The cow moved his head. To shake one's head, to shake his head. Shake his head. In the... And then she said, okay, and footy goi, okay, we agree, and footy means we agree, okay, okay, we agree, we will see, and footy, we agree. Fortugal means to agree, to come to a conclusion, fortugal. Fortugal can also mean to meet, to meet physically, but here it means to meet at a conclusion. And footy, so fortugal means to meet in the streets. Mi fortu no e babeng. A babing, a babing, uh, Jean. I met with Jean's father. 
Mi futtu në imbabe, I met with Jan's father, I, or I met with John's mm, sister. Mi futtu në e gjadja John. Ok? Futtugal. But futtugal also, futtugal can mean also uh, figurative like to meet or conclusion, to agree. Kono juni yahutum, in futtigo, ok, we agree. Kono juni yahutum, but now, ok, go. You can go, but now just go. Me no. What, but as for me, me do siki, I think, sipta jede edi angel jede. It is better to be owned than to not be owned. Kono afama ye untumul. But you will understand then. Afterwards. You will understand afterwards. Untuma. Afterwards. Okay. Sipta edi. This is a very nice uh, uh, phrase. Sita, better to than to. Sita, something, edi, something else. Sita, jede, edi, angal jede. Uni say that too, John Nagengeng Ari, Portinge. After a little while, John Nagge, uh, the, the owner of the, the cow, John Nagengeng, the owner of the cow, Ari came, the owner of the cow came, porting and then untied her. Ngeyari kasari and then he followed where where the the, the way the, the that the, the, the rabbit took earlier. Lati ngeyahi said that, and then it happened that lata gol means to happen to some something that get realized. Okay, lata gol, and then yahi said lati ngeyahi said that, and then it. After she went a, a while, like it happened, what happened? Getari sari no wali kandeidi no fito. She found uh, uh, sari, uh, the rabbit. Okay. Uh, she, uh, lying and then fitagol, it means uh, like, you know, when, like when you are fainting or like you, have, have epi you are epileptic. Fitagol, thrash about, okay? That's what's called fitagol, like, you know, like when you actually shoot, because we will see later on, oh, let me not say what will come later, but, uh, you know, fitagol is like when you, uh, voila, when you, like, you are epileptic and so on. Fitagol. She found it like lying there and just fitagol. No fito. Kisan na gingeng in me, immediately the, 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 the cow said, Hey, kuri jam. Hey, I kuri jam mean kuri jam mean what's wrong? Yeah, like what's wrong? Kuri jam, what's wrong? Oh, I hope like the kuri jam, what's wrong? What's wrong? Okay, sorry, Woodley. The the rabbit cried in me and then said, "Ko got the feeling in me. Someone shot me. Someone shot at me. Okay, okay, someone shot me." Tavi kure buinati emaire, and we found that uh, many bullets nati emaire entered into into the rabbit, into into him or into it. Okay, got a kabao. Some of them got it. Some of those bullets got it. Kabao. Some at the back. Got a kakwengal bawa, some at the, at the, uh, how is it called? At the, 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 the posterior leg, how is it called? The leg in the behind, okay, of the rabbit. Okay, have four legs, right? The one in the behind. Naggengeng inni, the cow said, Sihir ajayano, if you were owned, got the susatano filudema, nobody would dare to shoot you. Because if you shoot something that belongs to someone else, you're going to be in trouble. You're going to face justice if the rabbit was somebody else's rabbit, right? And as soon as the, the, the cow finished saying that, she lifted up her eyes and she saw someone carrying a rifle coming okay ngefa mi kisang 
co-own fields here. And then she immediately understood that this is the one, this is the shooter. And he said in Ibui, and then she, well, she was very sad. She, 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 she became very, very sad. Okay. But she could do, she couldn't do anything. She came back at the scene, at the at the way, at the place where the, uh, the, the where the, the the rabbit was killed. The artoi, she came again. Kiki in the evening or in the late afternoon. Tawinge be di farmugol nafaje yede. When she came, she came with the understanding that with a better understanding that it is better to be owned. She came understanding better the advantages of being owned because she learned from the lesson. So this was the, the text. It's a, yeah, so when you tell this to a child, he's going to freak out. He's going to freak out seriously because I know, because I remember my dad used to tell me there is a famous one where is the, the stepmom, the stepmom tale, or fable, or you know, and uh, and uh, her stepdaughter, like the stepdaughter, like she, her mom died, the girl, and she, uh, her uh, her dad married another woman, and she was mean like hell, and then she gave her him, she gave her like something to go and wash in the like you used to tell her like at night to go and clean the dishes, and she had to go like to I think the forest or something, you know, and she was very scared because there's no electricity. How can you go to the river to wash, I mean, to wash the, 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 the kitchenware, the, the stuff, you know, the place, the dishes. And then, like, I think she met some animals who would talk to her and something like that. I forgot, but it was, that one was, was really, really, really scary. I don't know if you tell these tally, these fables to a child, he's, he's going to freak out a lot. So, yeah, that was the text. So, let's read the vocabulary again. Okay. Sick kugol to think. Okay. Sick kugol to think. There's another word, a cousin of sick kugol. Sick kitagol means to doubt. Sick kugol to think. Sick kitagol to doubt. Sari, rabbit, yet don't need to go to argue. Angal, the lack or the absence. So angal jayed, the lack of being owned or just not being owned. Sanugal, to tie up an animal to graze. Yeah, to graze. Bunugal, to do wrong. Hayugal hore, to shake one's head. Sitta, edi. Sitta jayed, edi angal jayed. Portugal, to untie. Portugal can also mean to remove the clothes of someone. Not portagol. Portagol means to remove your own clothes. Portugal means to remove, for example, the clothes of the child. Okay? To remove his clothes. But, uh, latagol to happen. Latagol. It, latagol. F uh, fitagol to thrash about. Okay. Kori I don't know what to thrash mean, but fitagol, that is, that's all, exactly as I, as I told you. Kori what's wrong? Okay? Korigal literally means like I hope it's peace, like that's what it actually means literally. But you say saying like it's what's wrong, like okay, that's what it means. Feel lugal to shoot. Kural a bullet. Pulal kure. Bantugal to raise your head or your eyes. Bantugal. Bantugal gite. Bantugal hore to raise your head. Now bantagol means also to to remain straight and to raise up. Okay, bantagol, bantagol, okay, bantagol. So here you can say bantugol, but you have to, bantugol is a transitive verb, bantagol is a reflexive verb, okay? Bantugol, what? You cannot just say bantugol, bantugol are the reflexive, you have to put uh, uh, an object for bantugol. Okay, hainagol, to see from a distance, hainagol, hainagol. Falagol, to carry on shoulder. Falagot. Okay. Finkari, rifle. Okay. Or gun. Nafa, benefit, advantage. Okay, guys. So tell me in the comments what do you think about this um, tale. Okay, guys. Harai onjarama, harai en ontuma.
en on tu masi ala jeta yete lang ka commentaire ji si tawi on fami tell me in the comments if you understand okay uh, kono si on fama li kadi on famo yai on tu masi si on dari video on dari ti on famo yai on famo yai si on landi ke lang kadi lande ha mi yeti ke on famo yai kadi on fami on famo yai if you ask me and then i explain to you you will understand on famo yai on tu ma Okay guys, oh, oh, on jaram nabi, arai eng untuk masyarakat. Bye, thanks.